What's up, everybody? Tonight's ice cream review is Berry Sweet Marscapone from Ben & Jerry's. This flavor is a Whole Foods exclusive, believe it or not. That's right, even Whole Foods is getting an exclusive flavor these days. So as you'd expect, it's a little on the fancy side as far as Ben & Jerry's goes, you know, because people shop at Whole Foods can afford to spend $12 on a bag of potato chips, so why not? A mascarpone ice cream. This is blackberry and mascarpone ice cream swirled together with shortbread cookies and fudge covered almonds. Now the elements in here are not new whatsoever. Uh, blackberry ice cream, actually now that I think about it, may be new. It's been a long time since they've used blackberry in any flavor since the uh, Dave Matthews, no Dave Matthews flavor was raspberry I think. I'm racking my brain here, guys. I don't I don't have like a laptop next to me to look these things up. And I've been hitting the head with many a steel chair, so I forget things from time to time. So if you can remember a flavor with blackberry in it, you win a prize that doesn't exist. You get my respect though, and that's worth more than any prize. I digress. Blackberry and mascarpone ice cream. Mascarpone ice cream, not new mascarpone ice cream used in the cannoli flavor, among others. And uh, there's other, once again, it's not coming to me, but I know they've used it before. Shortbread cookies, we've seen that before in a lot of flavors. It's one of those throwaway mixins they tend to use a lot and fudge covered almonds. Now, I gotta say here, I'm not super psyched about them being just fudge covered. I would have I would have wanted, uh, if I had my druthers, I would have wanted a white chocolate covered almond instead of a fudge, just fudge covered almond. I feel like it would go better with the flavor. Uh, chocolate mascarpone, eh, not my jam, but hey, I've been wrong before, not many times, but I've been wrong before, so we're gonna give this a shot. I've heard good things, and I finally got my butt down to Whole Foods and, and brought this baby back. So let's find out if it's worth your time, your money, your calories, and um, your safety, since you know we're in the middle of a pandemic and you gotta go out with your mask on and uh, hunt these things down. So let's see if it's good. Let's scoop it. I was wrong about the chocolate covered almonds. They're delicious, doesn't matter what the flavor is. Always delicious, always. Marscapone ice cream, solid by itself. Even better combined with that blackberry ice cream. If they've never used it before, that's a mistake, because it's really good. I expect it to be a little more tart, it's very sweet, but hey, still good. Use it more, Ben & Jerry's. I might be alone here, but I think Ben & Jerry's could afford to do more fruit flavors been a lot of chocolate flavors lately and I think it's summertime you know I think now is the time we should uh, should dabble in the fruit stuff I I wasn't sure how it was gonna work but fudge covered almonds marsh capone blackberry it's good no issues quality control wise here you got a nice almost 50 50 split of ice cream flavors Got lots of shortbread and a decent amount of those almonds. The rumors are true. This is a really good flavor. And it's a shame because I think it will get slept on, mostly because it's a Whole Foods exclusive. And not everybody has a Whole Foods in their town. And some people just don't like to go to Whole Foods and I completely understand that. But if you have an opportunity to get this, you really should because it's a very, very good flavor, and it stands out in the Ben & Jerry's catalog. I wasn't sure exactly how the combination of flavors would work here, but they all combined for a great, refreshing summer flavor. You got the, you got the fruit, you got the richness of the mascarpone, you got crunchy shortbread, you got crunchy chocolate-covered almonds. It's, a, it's, like I said, it's unique. There's really no other flavor like it that Ben & Jerry's makes right now. And I think that if you have the opportunity, once again, if you if you have a Whole Foods or you can, can go in there and grab it, I think you should because it's good. No other way to say it. As always, your mileage is going to vary. Flavor's not for everybody. But objectively speaking, I think this is one of the best that Ben & Jerry's put out this year. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.